HMS stands for Heritage Monitoring Scouts, and the program is based out of the Florida Public Archaeology Network. It was founded by Sarah Miller, who is a director of the Northeast and the Central regions of Florida Public Archaeology Network. And her goal with the program was to get citizens and local communities involved with monitoring archaeological sites ahead of any impacts from climate change. Well, climate change affects us in many different ways. It affects us through things like sea level rise, storm surge, which can lead to erosion of sites along our coastal areas. And so as archaeologists, we're concerned that we're losing these things at a fairly rapid pace due to climate change and the effects of climate change. So when we do Heritage Monitoring Scouts training, we generally set them up with four presentations in the morning that go over kind of an introduction to climate change and why archaeologists care about it. We go over the kinds of archaeological sites that we'll be monitoring as scouts and common artifact types that we'll find if you're at an archaeological site. Well, um, a friend of mine it, it sent an email about the program, about um, a citizen scientist, science project uh, for archaeology and helping out, and that's what I'm interested in, is um, that uh, the archaeologists, there's not enough of them, and they need, they need our help. The main thing is we're going to be data collectors, and, and getting that data to the archaeologists so that they can, you know, prioritize it and do what needs to be done to protect our cultural heritage sites in Florida. We had a couple of young guys in there, high schoolers, and they want to be here, you know, um, so that's very encouraging. I found interesting the classifications of all the uh, artifacts and how by just a few markings or by the material stuff that's made out of, you can tell when this item was made or even sometimes exactly when it was made. In the afternoon we go out and get feet on the ground. We go out to an archaeological site, um, whether it's a historic cemetery or it's an archaeological site in a state park, for example, and we get practice working with our scouts, with our volunteers, with our local citizens monitoring the site so that we can go through the forums together. We also teach them how to take pictures that are appropriate for submitting along with forms to the state of Florida so that we can gather that baseline data on our geological site. I think people want to help and so getting the word out that these programs are out there to help if you can, if you have the time, push that, push it out to the public because I think people do want to help. With it.